And so are you looking at the Canon M50 and wondering if it's worth it just for 4K video? Well, I kind of have some mixed emotions about that. Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here and welcome back to another video. On this channel, I make videos about video production, camera and audio gear, and just production videos in general. And so today I'm talking about the Canon M50 and its 4K video capabilities. And so the 4K footage on the Canon M50 looks really good when it's in focus. Um, it's sharp, there's a lot of detail, and it's pretty easy to manually get your focus because there's peaking available on this camera. You know, you can also zoom in and then find your focus and then start recording. But the autofocus is pretty much terrible. A lot of people said it wasn't any good. I was like, oh, they might be exaggerating a little bit. It can't be that bad. But guys, it's, it's bad. It's just contrast-based. It's not dual pixel autofocus. I did a video sitting right here and I had the camera on a tripod. I had a light right behind it, so I was lit up pretty well, and it was hunting for focus, and I'm just sitting here talking and not moving that much. Um, and as you can see, I'm gonna put the video in here, and it just is not reliable at all for that type of thing. Now, if you manually set your focus, you're gonna be fine, but uh, even just sitting here, it wasn't good. And I also tried to record Ruby running around in the yard, and it just struggled to keep up with her, and just long story short, do not use the autofocus on the Canon M50 with 4K. But whenever I used 4K with manual focus, I got some really good results. And like I said, you can see peaking, you can zoom in to find your focus, and it really looks good. So if you want to set your camera up, find your focus, set your focus. If you have like a white card like this with crosshairs, if you can set it right where your face is gonna be with like a mic stand, you can set your camera up and then you can set your focus from behind the camera, go sit down, record your video, and you're good to go. Um, or if you're recording your subject, you can easily just find your focus as you're recording. Now, another issue I've run into shooting 4K with this is that if you're making a lot of quick movements, you're gonna get a lot of rolling shutter, and it's gonna look rubber bandy, and it's gonna look like you're time traveling or something. It just doesn't look that good. So if you are shooting manual, but you have a to depend on a lot of movement with the camera itself, maybe you should consider a different camera. Yeah, it's it really is. I had mixed motion, mixed emotions about it because whenever it would find focus, it looked really good. But the autofocus is just so bad that it's not reliable at all. You gotta focus with manual focus if you're gonna be shooting 4K with the Canon M50. And so hopefully this video gives you some insight if you're looking at the Canon M50 for 4K video. Like I said, if you have to have 4K, if you have to have autofocus, this camera is not for you. It's not gonna work that well. But if you can live with using manual focus and you like 1080p, but you wanna use 4K every now and then, this is a pretty good option. That's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified whenever new videos go live. Try to release a video at least once a week. And make sure you follow me on my social links that are all down in the description below. Tyler Miller TV on both Twitter and Instagram. And so that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys again so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.